Mike and I are just walking up the hill. We're going to go on a little trek. Uh, this We're going to is... go look at some ukuleles. A guy who makes ukuleles with chainsaws. <laughs> I shaded my ukulele for one. And then uh, we're going to hike up to a waterfall. Yeah. Just that, right up in that valley there. That's cool. <laughs> I can't wait to see the ukulele guy who makes ukuleles using a chainsaw. This, the, the view of this town is amazing. Just walking along, there's just mountains all around us. It is incredible. Yeah. And I just love this. Love the, the workshop underneath the rock. Yeah. Mike had a couple of questions about the ukulele that the guy was building for him. And while they were talking, I had a look around and actually did find the chainsaw that the guy used to cut the things up with. Have this fruit tree there, and yeah. you got lime trees over there, and lemon over there, yeah. banana right here. It's crazy. Mike's going to tell us about coconuts. <laughs> so you have this roof here, and underneath it you have all the coconut meat. They take it out of the shell and they put it here. It's to dry. So what that this, if you look here, there's this track and the wheels and this whole roof just slides off and it exposes the sun and they can dry the coconut meat. They get a lot of money from uh, Tahiti for it. I love a budget one. There's, there's no wheels, but it just slides on the wood. Oh, I see. The roof slides back yeah. on, the, on the poles. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I guess they put the roof up when it rains because you don't want that stuff getting yeah, wet when it's been out. drying all day. Yeah. Honey, we need a home improvement. Well, home improvement, we'll just build a new home next door. <laughs> <laughs> Will it have running water? Hell yeah! <laughs> Found this goat, he's kind of like caught up in a bush. He's tied up, um, but he's got extra caught. So uh, Mike's getting his commando knife out and uh, chopping him free. There you go. That's as good as it gets. No, no, that's all you get, mate. He's got an, <laughs> erect, he's got an erection, mate. <laughs> what did you do to it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, this is, this is real sweat. <laughs> We've, a, we've been beasting it up the hill, and I didn't film that part because it was too nasty. It's a progressive hike. It started off paved. Now we got kind of a nice dirt road. And eventually it'll turn into a single track. Bushwhack. Bushwhack track. As long as it's <laughs> downhill, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> On the way back, it's all downhill there. Is it? Okay. <laughs> all right. I don't know if I'm going to make it that far, but I'd have my first heart attack now. Come to this nice shady spot. This huge tree. I mean, some of these must be very, very old and escaped the uh, tree fellers axe, I reckon. A lot of hardwoods here. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Chance to cool off for a bit. Until the bright sun shines, killer is the killer. <laughs> for me, anyway, being an old person. But I am uh, promised that, I thought there was going to be a big uh, waterfall could jump in and cool off. He's just been, he's been up before and he tells me it's just a trickle at this time of year. So I've been brought here under false pretenses. <laughs> Are there any, any semi-naked women there with the bikinis on? I hope so. Okay. It's just some stones here that mark the trail. I'm glad I'm with Mike, I'd never have found this. I've no idea what he's saying. <laughs> I'm just about dead back here.
Nice nice swim on the two two uh water foot. <laughs> Holding men shouldn't swim on them. <laughs> We're gonna have to show, show, photoshop the hell out of this one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's kind of, it's not super sweet. It's kind of like I, I would liken it to sweeter than a grapefruit. So, it's very similar so to what, grapefruit. What, what's it called again? It's called like something like pamamoose. I, I'm not saying it right, but it's pamamoose or mm. something. Oh man, it's delicious. Yeah, it's oh. That's far better than grapefruit. I don't like grapefruit. It's too sour. Well, exactly. It's it's like it's not sweet. Yeah. But it's um, it's basically that mm. idea of like almost like a grapefruit. And we picked this up. Well, he stole it yeah. <laughs> on yeah. the way up here. Yeah. <laughs> We were discussing whether this is pollution or not. It's just it's, it's, not, it's, it's goat, goat pee, I no, think. It's just pollen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, it's, it's goat pee. Goat pee and uh, uh, what a great swimming goat. Yeah. Pee. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely pools of water here. I mean, I've been drinking out of this, and this is fine. Well, I'm all, we're refreshed now. I didn't, I didn't film it when we first got up here because I was in bits. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, t-shirts off, hats off, and straight in there. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I've got some nice GoPro, GoPro footage of that. So we're just enjoying it. Had um, a snack and we're gonna head on back in a minute. Beautiful, worth, worth the trip. Yeah, worth the trip. Yeah, and uh, I was just saying earlier, that the Americans use the word awesome a lot, but really, this is awesome. If you wanna know what awesome is, come here. This is awesome. this magnificent bay on the island of Fatahiva. It's incredibly beautiful here. Uh, done the waterfall, had a nice walk. I mean, some of, the, some of the vistas over there, you stop and you look around and it looks like you're in one of these Pacific movies. Yeah, Mutiny on the Bounty or something like that. Uh, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable. But hey, back to reality. Been doing lots of editing, trying to get catch up with stuff. But one of my major problems, or two, one, the anchor winch, fixed that yesterday, brilliant, that works, because we're in some depot water here. I know I man haul the chain up, yeah baby, but uh, nevertheless, I mean, I do need that winch working, so that's working now. The other biggie is my car, what a cruisers would call you, your car, your, your vehicle, your personal transportation, the dinghy. Uh, baby shaddy's out of action, more holes than a cheese grater, I tell you. Um, I don't know, ran up against some concrete and appeared the other day, uh, but basically she's getting so old, all the, the cement or the glue, if you will, is all coming apart. It's just literally just dropping to bits and there's nothing much I can really do about it. She sort of reached her shelf life, if you like. She's about three years old and had um, a hard life. Uh, it's only a cheap, a cheap uh, off the shelf thing that I bought in a store. <laughs> um, yeah, it's almost like a gas station ding dinghy, but no, she's done a good job, but um, I definitely need a new dinghy and I don't know what to do. I'm going to try and do some makeshift repairs now, but without a dinghy, I, I'm stuck for even getting ashore. It's a big problem not having a dinghy, a big problem. Thought I'd uh, check out the local reef just next to the boat. Uh, but once I was in there, uh, there wasn't much to see. Not half as beautiful as everything above the waterline. Leaving Fatahiva, one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen, but there's not really much to do there. There's not even a bar or a pizzeria. What were they thinking? 
Well, it's morning on a beautiful calm sea with just enough wind to keep us going. Been slow sailing overnight to our next destination. Not sure how you pronounce it, but the island of Tohatu. I think it's something like that anyway. Uh, it's a small island with three anchorages we're going to explore. Um, uh, Hiva Oa, where we've been before, is just up there. Um, so we've kind of done a bit of a circuit here. Well, wind just died. It's been doing that all morning, but we're going nice and slowly. We're in no hurry. Yeah, we're just going round the back of the island uh, to get to the anchorage. And of course, the wind's died round the back. Uh, I'm just having my first coffees of the morning and then I'll probably start the engine and go on in. But what a cracking sail yesterday. Just absolutely beautiful. Doing four knots on a calm sea. Why couldn't it have been like that all the time? Anyway, this is just beautiful here. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just absorbing the moment. Silence. Some of you might be wondering what the uh, itinerary will be on this trip. Where are we going? Well, I can give you uh, the heads up on that. Uh, the plans can change, but at the moment we're here in the Marquesas. Uh, then we're gonna go to the Tuamotas, which is some more islands further down, uh, to Fiji, uh, and then from then on to the Cook Islands. Uh, and then possibly the Kingdom of Tonga, New Zealand, Australia. That's kind of what we're planning to do. So uh, we'll see how that goes, shall we? <laughs> it's all going to be good stuff, I tell you. I can't wait. And you're, you're coming with me, you really are. on the island of Tahuta. Uh, Mike's been asked to move his dinghy because apparently there's a ship, or a sort of big boat, one big ship here, coming in to collect uh, a coconut. Well, it's actually dried coconut called copra, copra, something like that. Uh, that they dry, uh, the French government uh, give the guys a subsidy for doing it. So they're keen on uh, selling it. I think they get like a dollar a kilo or something. So it's, uh, it's worth their while doing. Uh, keeps them busy anyway. <laughs> So uh, they're busy there unloading a truck waiting for this uh, ship to come in. <laughs> Puppy's first swim. This appears to be the school. There's an outdoor part, an indoor part, and some toilets. That's all you need. Some ash down here. We were just talking. There seems to be a lot of fires on the island. They uh, use fire to dry the coconut quicker, I think. With the ship coming today. Yeah. We got a ship coming today, so uh, we, we hope they didn't squash the dinghy before we get back. That's why we had to move the dinghy. Got to get every last dollar they could, you know. Yes, <laughs> every last dollar. The, the, the French government pay like a dollar a kilo or something. Take the free money. These, the last time I saw some of these on the other island, I got stung. We've already seen the island's uh, industry. Here's the uh, generated station, I think. Where do they get the power from? This appears to be the school. You got indoor park and an outdoor park. No. This appears to be the school. There's an outdoor park 
an indoor park. So you got all the coconut meat in here, it's too dry. Oh hang on, I got the microphone, then we'll be around. Yeah. Hey. 